Guys, Deluded Gooner, it's been a long day. Obviously, it's evening times as I'm shooting this, but it's Q&A day. It's Friday. Well, it's not Friday right now, but it's Friday. Q&As, let's crack on. Thank you for the questions. If I've missed them out, Sunday, you know I got you covered, and I apologise, people, man. I apologise, but I've got your questions here. Yeah, man, blur out the handwriting there. But, yeah, you know why the pen's still there. Looks like I have a seat, but, um, yeah, let's crack on. So, we've got some good questions here. <sighs> The first one's a good one as well. At Tariq Amazing. Honestly, I can't make sense of this defending. He's obviously... And he just added me a link. Obviously, he's speaking in regards to everyone that watched yesterday. You saw Chelsea get demolished against Roma. He's talking about the last goal. Well, they actually didn't go in. But he's talking about the marking. I'm all sure you saw Cahill, Rodiger, Luis all going to the same man. Ridiculous defending. Conte, proud Italian. Italian man. Got everybody playing free at the back. It's going to be... He, I'm so, I'll be surprised if he didn't lay fingers on any of them defenders. It's not even just the defenders. Bakayoko, if I'm technical, if I'm being harsh, can, can actually erase all of that. Yeah, I'm not excusing them defenders because why are you all chasing one ball? That's not even under nines are really trying to do that. That was all poor. But if you watch it, Rüdiger stops running. If he keeps running, that chance might not happen. And if I'm technical... The fullback, whoever is the fullback should be, be there as well. Because like I said, I'm not excusing the centre-halves and they deserve every slap they get. But if it did go in, the right-back could have been there to bail people out. As a right-back, I saw that was the first thing I looked at before I actually looked at the three defenders messing around. I mean, Luiz, how many caps for Brazil? One, one leagues everywhere um, that he's been. That's poor. Rodiger, you've been playing for Germany. That's poor. Cahill. You're cap you've captained your country. That's poor. There's no way of describing that. That was just some nonsense that they come with. And like I said, I'll be surprised if Conte and them coaching staff did not lay hands on any of them players. Because it just looked like... It's just cheap defending. It's just giving away cheap stuff, man. It's just nonsense. That tropical juice is treating me good, man. But I hope that answers your question. Ah, oh, you got more. Thoughts on McTomney? He's talking about... I hope I said his name right. Scott McTomney, the guy that... um. United, um, Jose gave, I think, did he play? I swear he came on against us one time last year. But yeah, he's given, he's given, United, um, Jose's given him chances. I think he started yesterday in the champs. Uh, my opinions, I don't really have any opinions on him. I I can applaud him because if I remember, he used to be pretty damn small. He's shot up and I think he's had a lot of injuries as a result of that growth spurt. I think he's only played 50 times in the last two, three years. So it's nice, man. I don't think much of him as a footballer. But, um, but what I will say is, I think he's got good technical quality. He could probably express himself on a football pitch a bit more, but that will all come. He's a local boy at United, so he'll only serve. He'll only go for. He'll only go far. And United want to see that. Everybody wants to see people coming through um, the grassroots more so. People that are local. I think he's all right. He's got good technical qualities and these things. But past that, I don't think much of him. But it's not for me to think. You support Man United, and if you love him, who am I to tell you anything? And yeah, man. Next question. Oh, you got three. My done. Has Willock made the right move to Benfica? Well, on the surface that his brother's playing games, you could say no, but I think he has. There's a clearer pathway. He's always training with the first team. Um, it remains to be seen if he actually, if it actually is the right move, but he's making the right moves. He's he trains with. He's, he's been restricted to the B team, but he's training with the first team on a regular basis. Before long, he might not get. He might get a chance. I think when he was here, he made two appearances last season. So if he does more than that, he's done his. He's done his thing. Um. So yeah, he made one two appearances at Arsenal in the Carling Cup in his last year. Um. So yeah, you could say that. I. I think only time will tell. I think only in the next eighteen months to two years, you could see if he's made the right decision when he's twenty twenty one, and we're now seeing if you're gonna get f football or elsewhere. So yeah, um. Hope that answers your questions, my G. Thank you very much for them questions, man. Always asking. At Bob Bobby, thoughts on Dembele, Dembele, Dembele of Celtic. I like him, man. I think it remains to be seen how good he can be. I'm not really sure. But I like him, man. He can score goals. He can link up. He's strong. He, he scored goals at every team he's been at. I like him a lot, man. I'd like him to play in the Premier League, to be honest. And I think he's destined for one of them things. I got, I'm a big fan of his. So, yeah. Hope that answers yours. At Mobay Guna. <clears throat> Need some more of that drink. Pardon me. Mobay Guna asked, If we manage to keep, Alexi keep Ozil sorry, and let Alexis go and get Lamar, is that a drop or for an upgrade? Now, you guys know how much I love Lamar, but it is a downgrade on the basis that I know Alexis isn't exactly firing right now, but who's going to... Lamar can't replace his output. I mean, Lamar is a great player. I think he's got potential to be world-class and he should be here regardless of if them two stay or go. And I'd be happy if he he was the player to replace Alexis because we can do a lot more. But if we're honest, they, they're very different. He, they're very different in many ways. 
in terms, the main thing is the output. Alexis, 30 goals, 15 assists. If it's not Lacazette because we've signed him now, or it, it has to be Alexis in terms of our output, Lamar's not going to score that many goals, so we'll have a big hole, and that's even more pressure on Lacazette. So I'd say it's a drop-off, my G. But Lamar's a good player, and I love Lamar, so I'll take that. But that's my honest opinion. It is a drop-off. Next question. At Jaden Sancho. What do you think of the Masonda links? Now, for those who don't know, he's been linked with Arsenal. I think it's clickbait, if I'm honest. I might take Masonda. I'll take Masonda. He's at the age where he needs to play football, so we need to guarantee him some sort of football. He's a player that I've watched a lot of from his youth days when he used to beat up every youth side, along with the other Chelsea players. He's got extremely good technical qualities. I think the only thing remaining is developing a bit physically, and then there's a player there, and obviously game time. I will take him, but I think it's a non-story, my G. So I hope that answers you. You got another question. Why didn't Reese Nelson go to the under 17s World Cup? I asked this question as well, and then I found out the, the, the FA and these things, they're very technical. It, it's something to do with the month he was born or missing out on the age by a couple months or some nonsense like that. That's what someone said, anyways. So, yeah, that's why he's not there. But it's a shame. I would have loved him to be there. Imagine him, Sancho, Sancho ripping it up together. But, yeah, it wasn't meant to be. I think he plays for the under 18s and under 19s for England. So, he good. he's good. He's calm regardless. Hope that answers your question. At Reese Nelson 61, do you think playing will make Maitland now as a better player? Of course, bro. That's the only way to get better. I mean, you can have. How do you get better at driving a car? Someone could tell you to. Um, someone could tell you, oh, the car. You're meant to find the biting point. This you can go into this gear, that gear. Check your headlights, dude. I mean, check your lights. Um, check check your mirrors, do this, that, and the third. But until you actually try and stall the car or you you drive the car, you don't know how to drive or you don't know what you've done wrong. So he's only going to get better by playing, ideally in his natural position. Short term, he's getting experience at left back, right back, and I actually believe he should be kept as he, he should play centre mid, but we need to keep a backup right back and he can play on the full back side. I would love him long. He needs to be playing centre mid though, at the, at the real, realness of it. He's the only thing, I believe he's knocking the door of El Nene and Coquelin. The only thing they've got in the event is an experience and the high level football. So yeah, play, if the answer that you're asking me is playing, it, just playing regardless will help him. I'd say yes and no because yes, yeah, playing that fullback like I just said, it will help him short term. It has to, he learns different roles, learn how to defend, ultimately stay focused twenty four seven. But we need him to play central midfield because that's where the man is going to have a future, and that's where Wenger said he's going to have a future. Also, I believe fullback could be a position for him as well to adapt to um to get games and things like that, which he is doing. So yeah, I hope that answers your question, and thank you very much for that. Um. You got another question. Thoughts on how our academy is getting better? I'm going to be honest, bro. I don't think it's getting better. We've made great improvements off the pitch with the recruitment and adding all these partnerships with grassroots clubs and, and new sort of things and uh, for the for the kids. And that's great. And that shows that why Arsenal's one of the best. But is it anywhere near 09, 010, um, um, 08, 09 or even 010 sides? No, it's not. The youngsters aren't coming through like that too tough. I'm upset with the defensive prospects. Like, I mean, off the top of my head, I can only think of Danny Ballard. I hope that's his name. I said it right. That looks like a decent centre-half. Every week, I watch our highlights on Arsenal.com or whatever, if I can't watch the match. And I'm seeing comedy mistakes from, is it Alowu or something like that, etc., etc. It's not just digging him out. Poor mistakes. Um, Yeah. I just I think our academy has gone 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 down a bit with the recruitment of foreign players. It's not there anymore. We're not getting the best creme de la creme homegrown talent. We let several talented players walk through the door, but we have got several players that are talented that are still here. So I don't wouldn't necessarily say we're getting better. We're, we're just stagnating really. But that could be said for the whole of the club. We're making improvements at Hell End and these things, but it's not the progress I wanted to see. So I don't think it's a case. It's it's I can't be saying we've got any better. To to be honest with you, bro. And your last question is. Do you think we can be dark horses in terms of the Premier League? Well, I'd love to. If these players had any heart, had any passion, had any desire, had any consistency, competency and, and, and confidence and all these things, I'd say yes, but it's Arsenal, so I'm going to be honest with you. And it hurts me to say that, bro. No, I would love to be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that we somehow win the league in May and you're here laughing at me like, oh, Dilu de Guna, what do you know about football? I'd love that. But if I'm honest with you, I can't see, I don't think it's a dark horse thing because there's a real delusion at Arsenal to accept we're not playing well. I'm not even going to expand on it past that. I'm just trying to answer your question, bro. I don't think it's a dark horse thing. I think if you're going to look at dark horses, you've got to say probably like Chelsea or something, to be honest with you, if it's not the Manchester clubs. So, yeah. Um, what other questions? Almost lost where I was. Yeah, that's him sorted. Jacob asks is, Lampard, ooh, Lampard or Gerard? Ooh, 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 I don't know, bro. I'm thinking Gerard right now, but I've always maintained that Lampard near enough getting 15 to 20 goals a season is something I love. And I, I, I believe that's brilliant to be looking at pre-season 
at your side saying my striker Jogba's going to get me this goals. He's going to do me this goals. And Lampard is going to get you that. Lampard's got a better strike rate than some strikers. Like, I love Lampard, man. He's made some moves, some serious moves in important moments to help his side. So is Gerard. <sighs> I'm going to say Gerard. I'm going to say Gerard. But I'll probably change to Lampard for when this video's done. Um, lastly, at Patrick. When Arsene Wenger does leave Arsenal, do you think we'll end up in a similar situation to Manchester United? Um, yes, on the I'd say firstly, no on the basis that we've got a stronger side than they had. I know these lot are losers and a lot of them are overrated. But I do believe if another manager takes over to a degree, they have to up their game. They have. They want to hear something different. Um, we're in a competitive position financially compared to us. I know it's not really the same because United were always going to be in that. We're in a cool position. It's just the t the guys at the top don't want us to get to that level. So I don't think it's wherever Wenger leaves. It's these guys here stagnating the thing. It, like like Ferguson, you only see how... You, we know how good these managers are, but you only see how good a manager is when he actually leaves. And that's being shown. So I'd say no, um, no firstly, but I'd also say yes on the basis that if Wenger leaves, it's not going to be... Um, the boardroom might not do what they need to do. In fact, they won't. Um, we're already stagnating with Wenger, so without him, it's going to get worse. Um, I still want a new manager, but don't get me wrong. You see what I'm saying? So I'd say yes and no. More more yes, to be honest with you. Yes, it, it, it's very likely that that could happen. And no, at the same time, because of we're in a better situation, like if you look at the squad he left them with, it's slightly better. I know they probably have some stars there and it doesn't look like I'm talking sense there. But I'd say yes and no. More yes, but yes and no. So I hope that answers your question. And with that... I think that's all of them. Guys, that's all the questions. Thank you very much for these questions, man. Like I said, if I've missed them out, I apologise from the bottom of my heart. And I'll answer them on Sunday. Get in the comments, subscribe, like the video for me. I'm out. The Ludic Guna, the best YouTuber at this. Forget all the rest. I'm out.